Hi you guys. Welcome to my channel. It's Lisa. Today we're going to do some mixed media cards. I've had this stuff sitting in my stash for a long time. And you can see that this one here, I actually had the backgrounds done. I just added some collage papers. Here I was practicing a texture technique. Here I had some napkins down and some collage papers. So I'm going to work with this one um, in front of you. And here is a bag of scraps, just things that I had several um, pieces of. And I put them all together. And that way, when I need to work on a project, I can just take out some scraps and see what works. So here I'm going to use Dragonfly and some of these flowers that I cut out from some wallpaper. And then the sentiment that I had in that bag was also from some scrap. And here is a scrap of tissue paper I had laying on my desk. I'm just arranging them on the front of the card to see which arrangement I like best. And we're going to go ahead and rip this little piece of old paper and use it as the ground. Here I'm going to cut up this sentiment and see what I can make out of it. It said, today is full of happiness. Well, I want to make a birthday card for my sister. And so I used um, the words and just put them in a different arrangement. And I decided to do happiness is today because um, I wanted to remind her that it's what you make of it every day, you need to continue to be happy and then happiness will be around you. So I'm using the um, card that I had already put some texture on using my modeling paste and a palette knife. And of course that's dry. I'm just going to use this paper to um, keep the front and back part of the card from sticking together. I'm using my matte medium and I'm putting down that piece of tissue paper. And this is by Tim Holtz. Um, I think it's the tissue paper pack is called Postage. I'll look for it. And these, like I said, are just some small scraps of old paper that I'm using as the ground for my little scene. Uh, these flowers were cut out from some wallpaper that I had laying around and it was actually for a project that I was going to do a workshop up north in Saner, Wisconsin called the Saner Stampede but um, of course it got cancelled it was going to be in May so I'm just gonna continue on and use up the product and the pieces because if it ever gets rescheduled, we'll have to find something different, right? The dragonflies were from an old mixed media piece that I had done at Let's Create in Wisconsin Rapids. And I had some extras, so of course I saved them, you know me. And then the sentiment I put down is, happiness is today. I gotta let that background that um, card there dry because of the matte medium and then on the inside I'm going to put some fairy dust with these little jars that I had in my stash I'm gonna put that fairy dust in the jar and then the sentiment that I had for inside the card says birthdays are special days sprinkled in fairy dust so I'm going to go ahead and crease the card, use my Misty, place my magnet in there, and go ahead and stamp that sentiment with my black archival ink inside. And I thought that would be really nice. It says birthdays are ordinary days sprinkled with fairy dust. So what a great sentiment. And to put that fairy dust in the card makes it even more special given that just a little dry so I don't have a problem with it going on the inside. And now we're going to have to use my 
burnt umber wash that I use paint and water and go ahead and cover the whole front of the card trying not to get the liquid on the inside of the card but if I do it's okay um, it's for my sister and she will not mind because the full goal is going to be on this beautiful front cover so it's nice to do these um, cards mixed media cards if you will because they're just little um, little works of art where someone can display in a frame or just set up on a shelf and they have just a beautiful piece of your artwork and I thought that my sister would really enjoy having this for her birthday I hope you watched um, the video a few weeks back on creating her birthday present I will try and link that above and um, you could go back and watch that if you did not see it she and I are both dragonfly freaks we love dragonflies so um, of course her present is full of dragonflies so here I'm going to do some of the shadowing I'm going to use my ink tent watercolor pencil and the color is bark I'm going to use my water, my spray bottle, and a nice um, brush, and I'm going to create those shadows and drips around the dragonfly and the flowers and give it some great depth and dimension. I will show you the other um, cards that I made. I'm not going to show you how I made them because I wanted to keep this video kind of quick and easy for you. And the principles are the same. You just do it on a much smaller scale. Use up some scraps. Use up things laying on your desk. Just be creative and have fun. These are little pieces, works of art, like I said. And this one was real fun to do. And I know that I'll probably do um, quite a few more in the future. This uh, watercolor pencil just um, glides on like a dream for using um, for the shadows here. It really is quite fun to use and then spraying it with the water and letting it run and drip and moving it with your paintbrush there really gives it a great effect. Always have a damp cloth handy so you can um, Pick up any real major drips that you might have. And like I said, what a real quick and easy project for you. I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, I will show you the pictures at the end of the other few that I made with the same techniques, just a little bit different uh, focal points and backgrounds. And I like to dry every once in a while. So if you've got the watercolor pencil running just the way you want it to run, you can just stop it right in its tracks with your heat tool. Just gonna finish the other side of that flower. And then we're going to do some details with my hand pastels and my soft pastels. I got a few new supplies and they have been really, really fun to work with. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want to see, any questions you have, 
and I'll also leave a link to a new Facebook group that I have created. It's called Everything Paper and Glue. How appropriate. Um, and it's for anyone that wants to just talk about their art, talk about what they're working on, ask any questions you might have of any of the other people in the group. Um, just really fun, real low key. Um, you can share, comment. Um, I, I just really wanted to put a place out there where we could work on our little things. And there are scrapbookers, there's mixed media people, there's card makers, lots of card makers. There are people that do all kinds of other projects and it's fun to see all of the, the different things that people come up with. Very, very inspirational. So I'd love to have you um, join our group and there's a few videos um, on new products that I've purchased and we'll continue on with the group. Hope you join us. Here I'm getting out my Pan Pastels and the blues and the greens were what I was really um, focusing on here. And I'm just using my little blending tool there and putting down the green color. And if you need to change colors, you can very gently pounce the blending tool on a clean paper towel and that will pounce out the little bit of color and gives you enough area where you can go ahead and change colors. I only have two of these holders or sticks, what you want to call them, and um, I would like to get a few more and I, I'm sure I will. You know me. I'm always having my list of things to purchase and things to look for. So you can see me um, tapping it on that towel there and the towel's dry, it's not wet because I don't want to get the tip of my brush wet. And you want to be very careful, don't add too much pressure because these sponge tips, they, they will rip unfortunately and you just have to be real careful with them. And then I thought I needed to add a little bit of brown here, I'm dabbing off my thing again and adding a little bit of brown and doesn't that make it really look pop it just pops doesn't it but like I said I hope you liked this uh, little project here with mixed media cards and I'll show you the other ones that I did and like I said I wasn't going to show you the technique because that's going to be up to you and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to check me out below. And I'll look forward to seeing you sign up for my Facebook group. And be sure to answer the two questions so that I can allow you to participate. That just shows me that you're not a robot. You know how they always say. And I hope you have a great week. And we'll see you again soon. I'm going to add a little bit of marker to my sentiment there. Happiness is today because when I put that chalk pastel over the top, it kind of covered it too completely. So I just used my Micron um, pan and made sure I carefully went over the sentiment. So yeah, I'm going to edge the edge the I'm going to go around the edges with my black marabou crayon as I love to do to make that baby pop. And like I said, enjoy. We will see you again soon. Have a great week.